皆さんこんにちはお元気ですか Hi guys, my name is Risa. Welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, はじめまして、Risa です。In this video, I'll talk about JLPT N5 practice worksheet that I have created for you people so that you can practice your Japanese double yourself in case if you do not have workbooks or test books with you guys. Okay, so let's get started. Before I start this lesson, I want to thank everybody out there, especially my subscribers, because recently I've crossed 500 subscribers. <laughs> I know it's a comparatively small amount, but I'm really glad about it. So, thank you, everyone out there. Thank you for supporting me and my regular viewers. Thank you so, so much. So, let's start today's video. This is again a level one worksheet, so it's not going to be so difficult if you might be expecting it. So let's get started. So we are going to practice worksheets with me, Risa Sensei. And do not worry because at the end of this video, I'll be sharing the answers with you so that you can check your answers. Okay, question number one is about your vocabulary, so it tests how much vocabulary you know about Japanese. How do you say the following in Japanese? First, small. How do you say small in Japanese? Second, chair. How do you say chair in Japanese? Third, many. Fourth, and then. How do you say and then? I did so and so. And then. Fifth is safe or alright or okay. Sixth, uh, seventh is shop clerk. How do you say this in Japanese? Next is this way, and the last one is how many people? How do you say that in Japanese? Okay, this worksheet is comparatively easy as it is a level one worksheet. In my further videos, I'll try to increase the difficulty slowly. Okay, question number two After each of the following sentences, a number is given in parentheses. Rewrite the sentences using its counterform to initiate the noun subject of the sentence. What does this mean? Okay, do you know that we use counterforms to show the number of something? For example, in English we say there is there are three tables, right? But in Japanese we do not simply use the number to say three, like sun. We do not just use it. There is a different counter that we use. The tsu counter, which is the most common counter. So, if you do not know about this counter, please try to know about this first because if you don't,、um, you might find this a little confusing. Anyways, I'll give you an example which will make it clear to you, I guess. So, the, que- the example says, Koko ni isu ga arimasu. Koko is here, isu is chair. Arimas is to be. So a chair is here. Okay? And I hope you know about the particles. The thing that exists, which is the chair over here, is marked with the ga particle. And the place, which is koko, is marked with the ni particle. Okay, if you, know, if you want to know more about particles, please check out my previous video and my particles play- playlist if you want. Because I guess particles are something that beginners fear a lot. And they are easy once you just understand the basic logic behind them. Okay, now in the question, I gave you three in the bracket. What does this mean? Is you have to say, there are three t a b l e over here. This sentence was, there is a table here. You, now you want to edit it and say, yes, there are three tables over here. So, three as a counter will be mitsu, mitsu. So, how do I say this? I add mitsu before arimas and after the thing. Together, it's koko ni isu ga mitsu arimas. Did you get it? Okay. Question number one, you have to try it on your own later on and let you know the answers. And I'll also explain it so that you do not left with any kind of confusion. Omise ni tenin ga imas. Omise is shop. Since it's the place, I mark it with a ni particle. Then we have tenin. Tenin is the shop worker. 
Yeah. So this shop worker is is the subject of existence. That means I'm saying there is a shop worker in the shop. So since I'm talking about this person's existence, I mark him with the ga paiko. Okay? So omise ni tenin ga imasu. Now I want to edit this and say there are two workers in the shop. This sentence simply means there's a worker in the shop. I want to say there are two workers in the shop. So you have to add two counter. The counter for two here in between tenin and imasu. Just like we did here in this case. In the case of chair, we added mitsu between the chair and animas. In the very same way, you're gonna add the counter for two between tenin and imas. Do you know the counter for two? It's futatsu. Futatsu. Similarly, the counter for one is hitotsu. Hitotsu. So, omise ni tenin ga futatsu arimasu. And I'm sorry, since you're talking about tenen, it's imas. And if you're talking about the table, it's arimas. Okay. Eki ni toire ga arimas. Eki ni toire ga arimas. Toire is restroom or toilet, and eki is the station. Since eki is the place, I mark it with ni pariko. And since I say there is a toilet, I'm talking about toilet's existence. I mark it with the ga particle. Okay, so you understood the sentence, which means there is a restroom in the station. I want to say there are three restrooms at the station. Three is something that you have to add between toire ga and arimasu. How do you say three? We just now saw it in the example, Minasan. Try to recall how to say three in form of counters. Yes, it's metsu. Metsu. So, how do you say this? Mm hmm. Eki ni toire ga mitsu arimasu. Toire is a non loving being, so I use arimas and not imas. Mizu o kudasai. O kudasai. It's a form that we use to. that we use for. to ask something, like, please give me. Okay? If if you want to ask for something, you say ten o kudasai. You're asking for water, so you say mizu o kudasai. Let's say you want to add four, the counter for four over here. How do you say that? Okay. Onigiri o kudasai. Onigiri o kudasai. Here you have to add the counter five. Okay, next. Don't worry, I'll be showing you the answers. So if you have any confusion, you can let me know in the comment box. Before that, please, please hit the like button if you haven't yet. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And please press the bell icon so that you become the first one to watch my video as soon as I upload it. Okay. Ocha o onegaishimasu. Ocha is the Japanese tea. And onegaishimasu. Is used to show, like, please give me, please could you give me, okay? So, ocha o onegaishimasu, please could you give me a tea? O is just for politeness, simply cha means tea. Now, you want to add the counter for two, which means give me two cup of tea or two teas. So, two is futatsu, exactly. Eki ni Eki ga imasu. So eki is the railway station. Eki in. In generally means the worker. So tenen, eki in, in means worker. So there are railway workers at the station. So the station is the place, a market with a knee particle, since the subject here is the railway worker. I'm marking with the ga particle, and since it's a living being, I use imasu. Okay, so you understood the sentence, right? Now, 
You want to say that there are 10 railway workers at the station. How do you add this counter for 10? Well then, let's move on to the next one. You have to translate these sentences into Japanese. If you want to translate any sentence into Japanese, basic thing that you must know is the Japanese sentence order. If you don't know the order, nothing will make sense. And the second most important thing that you should know is particles. So, I have already videos, I have videos already uploaded on these things about the sentence order as well as the Japanese particles. You can check those videos and uh, yeah. So let's start. Do you have a YM? Do you have a YM? Minasa, this is a question that is um it's a yes or no question. So you're not going to use ga over here, you'll be using wa over here. So please be careful. Next is one beer, please. One beer, please. How do you say this? O kudasai can be used and o onegaishimasu can also be used. There is a slight difference between these two terms, o kudasai and onegaishimasu. I'll try to upload a video where I explain you the difference between these two things. If I go and explain them here, I think it will make the video unnecessarily long. Okay, so please ignore that for the while. How do you say this way, please? You are showing the direction, so you say this way, please. Okay. Next, there are six customers in the shop. How do you say there are six customers in the shop? Okay. When you want to say the number of people, we use the counter nin. Nin means person and to say six people you just add the number six loku before it lokunin okay in this tiny shop there are ten shop clerks so ten in is the shop clerk so you have to use the counter ten for the shop clerks next is there are seven chairs there are seven chairs generally for non-living beings we use the counter tsu for people living beings we use the the counter nin okay so please do not be confused there are so many counters in japanese like a different counter for flat things a different counter for long, long things a different counter for cylindrical things and you, you know the counters are really really tough not to crack so beginners i would just say go for the counter too as it's the most common one okay if you're done with your questions now it's time to check your answers i know this seemed to be complicated kind of complicated but it wasn't actually when you guess the answers i think it's not going to be so difficult so question number one was how do you say this in the Japanese? I'll let you know the answers. I'll be going a little fast because it's just about the answers, right? Wherever I feel I should pressure, I'll just explain or elaborate at the pressure point. Rest, I'll be going a little faster. Okay. Small is chisai. It's a e adjective. Chair is isu. Many is takusan. And then is sorekara. Sorekara. Okay. Safe or alright or okay is daijoubu. It's a really common phrase. So, daijoubu desu ka? Are you okay? Are you safe? Are you alright? Okay. Shop clerk is tenin. This way is kochira. How many people? I said that the people are counted by the counter nin. So how many is none and the counter for people is nin. Wow, great. Question number two is um, you have to add the counter after the subject. So question number one is Omise ni tenin ga futarimasu. Omise ni tenin ga 
Futari imas. So we said there are two shop clerks in the shop. There are two shop clerks in the shop. So you say, Omise ni tenin ga futari imas. Futari means two. Eki ni toile ga metsu arimas. There are three toilets in the railway station. Metsu. It's a two counter. Mizu o. Yotsu kudasai. Mizu o. Yotsu kudasai. So, you add the counter for four before kudasai. In a sentence where you ask for something, you add the counter before kudasai. Mizu o yotsu kudasai. Onigiri o itsutsu kudasai. So, the counter for five. Itsutsu is added before kudasai. Okay, let us move on to the next question, which is Ocha o futatsu o negai shimasu. Ocha o futatsu o negai shimasu. Two is futatsu. Futari is for people, and futatsu is for non living things like ocha. Or isu, chair. So as I said, tsu counter is really more common in non-living beings, while the other counters like nin are used for people, living beings. Eki ni eki ga nin imasu. Nin is the counter for people, and the number of people is just put before nin, so it becomes. 10人 eki ni eki ga 10人 imasu so did you get it okay question number 3 is about translating sentences into japanese do you have a wine wine is something that we have adopted so so we would say wine wa arimasu ka Wine wa arimasu ka? This is because you can answer this question in a yes or no. Yes, I have wine. No, I do not have wine. In that way. So in such cases where you can answer them in yes or no, you gotta use wa instead of ga. Okay? So, one more thing that I would like to tell you as an extra tip when you go to a Japanese restaurant is when you ask, like, do you have wine? Do you have bread? Do you have something? And if that thing is not present currently, they would not they would not say like, no, we do not have it. No, they would not say why why I must have. They would not say like that. It is because um, saying you do not have something is kind of rude. So they would rather say, ato why why choto, which means wine is um little. So they would say wine is little. That means we have a really less amount of wine left with us, but they will never say we do not have wine. Okay? So when they say wine wa chotto ga arimasu, try to understand that they mean to say wine has got over. <laughs> okay? So please do not say it's okay if it is less, bring it to me. Okay? So the next one is one beer, please. Nama biru o hitotsu kudasai. Hitotsu is the two counter for one. Okay, and as I said, you gotta add this counter before kudasai in case of sentences where you are asking something like please give me this, please give me that, and so on. The third one is kochirae dozo, which means this way please. Dozo here acts as please. Okay, so kudasai also kind of means please and dozo also means please, but this dozo is more like Please proceed, something like that. <laughs> kind of difficult to explain. So, this way, please. Kochira e dozo. Okay? E can be replaced with ni also in this case because both e and ni show function of showing a direction. So, you are saying this way, it's a direction. You can use ni also if you don't want to use e. Okay. Next is there are six customers in the shop. 
there are six customers in the shop. お店にお客さんが6人います。Six customers. You are counting the customers. You are counting people, right? So we use the counter nin. Nin. And to show the number of people, you just add the number before it, which is 6. 6, 6, people. 6, 6 people. And you are talking about customers, which is o k a k u s a or o k a k u s a m a Okay? So I hope you understood this one. Let's move on to the next, which is question E. In this tiny shop, there are 10 shop clerks. So you want to say that the shop is really tiny, but there are 10 shop clerks over here. So, この小さい店に10人が10人います。Which means, この小さいお店に10人が10人います。この小さい店 means this tiny shop. この、その、あの、どの、are Japanese demonstrative that we use. Which are always followed by noun like mise over here. So if you don't know kono, sono, ano, dono, please check out my video on that topic. I have already uploaded it. Okay. Kono chisai o mise ni, which means in this tiny shop. And the next is there are 10 shop clerks. You are counting the shop clerks. So again, you're using the counter nin. And you just add the number. Ju nin. Ju nin. Okay, if you want to show your exclamation even more effectively, you can add yo at the end. So you can go like, この小さいお店に10人が10人いますよ。Okay? Next is, there are 7 chairs. There are 7 chairs. You're counting chairs, non-living being. You're not going to use nin because nin is exclusively for people, living people, you and me, humans. But when counting things like table, book, pen, pencil, note, and all that, you tend to use the counter tsu, and that is why we would say nana tsu, which is seven. Okay? Isu ga nana tsu arimasu. There are no living beings, and therefore I'm using arimasu. Okay, so that was it for this lesson. If you enjoyed this, please don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends who are going for JLPT or if they are trying to learn Japanese. Subscribe if you haven't yet, press the bell icon, comment and let me know if you have any kind of confusion or if you find I did not explain anything. And uh, you can also let me know your doubts, by the way. Well, that's it. I'll see you in the next lesson. Till then, stay safe. Matane!